your muscles need the sugar and the oxygen which is in the blood so the heart rate is going to have to go up so cardiac acceleratory nerves will leave the spinal cord and go to the heart telling it to increase its heart rate also the epinephrine being released from the adrenal glands will signal the heart to tell it to increase the heart rate so during an emergency or exercise your heart will beat faster now that we're at rest the heart shouldn't have to work too hard so its heart rate should go down we won't need quite as many beats per minute so the parasympathetic division through the vagus nerve will send messages to those sections of the heart which are controlling the heart rate, the intrinsic conduction system like the SA node and the AV node, instructing them to fire more slowly. If we are going to pump blood to the muscles more efficiently, we are going to need a higher blood pressure. So, the heart is going to have to squeeze harder. This means that it will increase its contractibility. Also, we will have to increase the squeezing of the smooth muscle around the arterial walls. So, this is known as vasoconstriction. And as we increase vasoconstriction in general throughout the body, then our blood pressure will increase. The epinephrine released during the fight or flight response is very good at increasing blood pressure because it causes vasoconstriction. Now that we're at rest, the heart shouldn't have to work as hard. So the contractibility of the heart muscle will decrease. Also, the amount of blood pressure we need is now less since we're not running or fighting. We're just lying around. And so therefore many blood vessels can undergo vasodilation as the smooth muscle in their walls relaxes and blood pressure decreases throughout the body.